Hi and welcome to Little Bits Honeybees YouTube channel. I'm a skinny bee man. Uh, last video I think I put out of the next to the last had some viewers wanting to know how I handled the, the graphs and what I done with them after I pulled the cells out. Well when I done that I didn't have any virgins hatched we just put cells in the hive. Today we got a block here that's got virgins hatched in it and we're going to take them out we're going to mark them mark them as virgins because they don't always come back to the same box that you put them in I've been marking them for a long time I can't tell any difference on return whether they're marked or not marked as virgins so I just mark them saves a, that way I know exactly what they are get started this particular graft right here is my first cross these this is from an AI breeder that I had uh, it's a, the breeder was a Martha Carpenter crossed with the uh, drones from an Adam Finkelstein USDA Italian VHS and I'm going, this next cross we're going to do, we're going to take these virgins and cross them back to a Martha Carpenter breeder, a different Martha Carpenter breeder. This comes from one Martha Carpenter breeder. We're going to breed it back because I want that chewing trait in there really strong. And the VSH, VSH is, is a, kind of like a dominant gene. It's pretty hard to breed out, so I'm pretty confident these are pretty high in VSH. But we're going to cross them back to the Martha Carpenter. Then we're going to raise them daughters. And I'm going to cross them with uh, probably a Sukobi Carney. And then we get that cross. I'm going to. Cr I, I, all these are AI'd, instrumental inseminated queens. Then the last cross is I'm going to take my best survivor queen. I've got a couple four year olds out there that's made through four winters, still going strong. And we're going to uh, AI some survivability into this queen. And the queens out of them breeders is the ones I'm going to sell next year for queens, production queens. I'm just going to sell one that's going to be Little Bits Honeybees uh, Diversified Queens. You can't, probably can't get a more diversified queen than that. You're getting a lot of different bloodlines and uh, out of Sue Kobe's you're getting an out of, out of the country genetics to bring the alleles up in the bloodline. <clears throat> but that's where we're going. I, I run about 10 different bloodlines here. And I tried to sell them to the public this year, and it's just a nightmare. Paperwork, and everybody wants one of each. And to have, when you got a limited amount of mating boxes, you might have four of them, but you don't have the other five. And it's just, it's just a nightmare for, so next year, it'll be a little bit honeybee, diversified queen, that's all we're getting. We'll see what they turn out like, and then I'll tweak on the AI and, to get some more productivity in there. Oh, and one we're going to cross in there. I said uh, the Sukobi. The Sukobi be the last cross. I'm going to put Car Car uh, Caucasian in there. So you're going to have two different countries plus the United States and, and the other breeds in this in this bee. So the Lils ought to be really super in these bees. I get them messed up. One's from the Czech Republic and one's from the uh, Republic of Georgia, the Caucasian. Uh, they're bo both from Sukobi, the Caucasian and the, and the Carnoian line. But that's kind of the plan for next year. Let me get my glasses on where I can see. I'll show you what I do. We, we just reach in here, get these queens out. And these queens are going to the queen bank. They got to be eight days old before you can uh, uh, instrumentally inseminate them. 
seven to ten days is proper, but I like to do it about eight days. So we got just got the cell in there. And guess what? The first one hadn't hatched yet. Let me get my flashlight. See if everything's still all right. She's chewing. She's just about out. I don't like to force them out because sometimes you get them out too early. First one wasn't still chewing, not ready to hatch. Now here we got one. Hope you can see it. They go back in the cells to eat the royal jelly out. A lot of times they get stuck in there and die if they're in there for a long amount of time. But Typically, you can just get a hold of them and they'll come out. Sometimes you got to peel the cell off of them, and that, that's a little tougher when they get this route. Not too many usually get this way. See, I just got the cell popped. I'm hoping you can see what I'm showing you here. That getting up, I can't see. And actually, she retained a whole lot of the uh, The drones he was bred with out of the USDA was our all Cadovian drones, and that's just a color trait. But they held a lot of it. They got a little bit of the tiger stripe from the uh, Martha Carpenters. Get my marker ready here, and I I can only mark right-handed, so I got to get her like this. Virgins, you don't want to touch. Pick them up by their wings. They're, they're, they're fragile and they'll damage them. So you just let them crawl like that and you pick them up by the thorax. And you just mark them just like that. And I put them in a JZB cage. I don't put candy in them because the queens will get stuck in there. They're going in a queen bank. I've got plugs that I 3D printed and put in the end. And they'll stand up. I don't have a bar in here. But they look like a bar, like these shipping bars. And they'll go in. I've showed, got other videos of going in the queen bank. And they'll be put in the queen bank like that. And the bees will take care of them. But that's kind of where we stand on everything, and uh, of course the rubber bands on these things are put on here because the queens push them up, they get out in the incubator, and they usually end up in the fan. See this girl? She's wanting out. Come on up out of there. back we just this blue marker ain't wanting me ain't wanting to get along very good sometimes these girls don't want to come out of here and other times they want to come out of there when you don't want them to come out And I, I will tell you something about queens. Queens have a different venom than a worker bee. Because worker bee stings queens when they're trying to kill them. They can, they can take, it takes several stings from a worker to kill a queen. 
and a queen killing, stinging another queen. One, I could be right here on this thing and one crawl over within a second and a half. One of them stung the other and it's dead. It doesn't flinch a leg, it's dead. Been there, done that. It happens so quick that you can't stop it. Here we got another girl inside. Just kind of got to work the cap off of it. Hopefully you don't mash her. She was hungry up there eating that raw jelly. The blue marker paint. Okay, everybody's, I know, saying, well, the color's green this year. I don't go by color code. These bees in my yard are all painted by breed. That way, when they come back, no matter what box they end up in, I know what they are. There's just That's just me. That's the way I do things. Everybody's got their own way. Just no questions about it. When I see what color paint they got them, I know what they are. There's another one up in there eating. These hatched out probably way up early in the morning. I knew they was going to, and but I looked at them last night. Look, and I think they still got honey down there, though. Yeah, they haven't ate all their honey. They prefer the royal jelly though. They'll go up there and eat that dried royal jelly. Well, that girl's all, all this tore up. Ain't sure how to get her out of there. <laughs> My finger is so big. And that cocoon's tough. It'll it, when you go pulling on one side of it, a lot of times it'll collapse down on the queen. Actually, she was stuck in there. She couldn't get out. And she starved to death. She's just about gone.
Put a little drop of honey on her. Let's see if she comes back. She was stuck trying to get out. That happens sometimes. Don't believe she'll make it, but she might. We'll leave her lay there for a second and see. But you can tell that the honey works. These are all alive, and she got stuck and couldn't get out. She starved to death trying to get out. Another good thing on the queen bank. Put a bunch of them out there, and they will uh, naturally select the best ones. The weak ones are the ones that if they feel no count, they won't feed, they'll die. So you don't waste your time inseminating the bad ones. It kinda, it's kind of a quality control. The starter hive will do it for you. Of course, when I'm putting these in the hive to get open made, I you know I check them all, make sure they got wings. The wings are all all right. AI, the wings are not important because they're never going to fly. We got a few more to do. Looks like the battery's about to quit on me. So, if you enjoy the videos, hit the subscribe button, the bell next to it, and you get notified. And I would show you an AI session, but it's so in depth that it, it's just, and I'm, I'm fairly new at it, and I kind of got to watch what, exactly what I'm doing. So, probably won't happen for a while, probably not this year, but thanks for watching.